In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record your screen with FFmpeg for free in the best possible quality. So first of all, if you do not have FFmpeg installed on your system, you have to install it. In Linux, it is very straightforward. For Windows, you have to download a Windows build, a zip file and extract it and add the path of bin folder to the environment variable or you can just extract the zip file and copy the FFmpeg.exe file to the directory where you want to work so for me i've created a folder where i'll save all my screen recording since i have ffmpeg installed on my system i'll directly start recording my screen i have a tutorial on how to install ffmpeg on windows i'll link the video in the video description okay so let's directly jump into screen recording with ffmpeg so first of all i'm opening my command prompt on this directory my ffmpeg is installed and the version is a version of 2024 so I can just start working on this since i want to screen record with audio i have to select the input input devices okay so let's list the input devices connected to my machine with this ffmp command so here i have few video device and few audio input device i want to capture audio from this audio interface this focus right usb audio and copying the name and pasting it my notepad okay so after copying this name i have to make the final command where i want to record my screen so here in the audio device i have to paste the name of the device i have copied from my list of devices so if i do not want to record my audio then i can omit this part and it will only record my screen but if i also want to record both audio and video then i have to specify which audio input device ffmpeg will use so here for simplicity i am setting the frame rate as 30 fps here hyphen i means the input the screen of my monitor and this flag of dshow is giving the input of input from input devices so this is the name of the output video the name of the screen recorded video so i can put whatever name i want for me for this tutorial i'm putting it as output.mp4 since i did not specify any path this file output.mp4 will be saved from the directory where the command is executed if i provide the full path like c colon slash user local slash etc then it will save to that directory okay so i'm copying this command and since i have a dedicated directory here for this recording and i have installed ffmpeg i can just paste this command here and press enter so now as you can see the recording is started and it is currently recording my video okay so how will how we will understand that the screen is being recorded so let's go to my browser and uh, go to new york times here i am browsing it so when i play the video i'll see this okay so the video is being recorded the screen is being recorded and it is showing here so once i'm done recording my screen i have to open this command prompt once again which is running in the background and i have to type ctrl and c together to close the recording i have ended the screen recording let's go to my directory so here a new file appeared as you can see this is a 52 second long video if i play this video I'm currently hearing my own voice which i was saying during the recording yeah as you can see this is how you can record screen with ffmpeg the command is pretty much simple it uses gdi grab which is an api provided by windows system to record skin it is used by all skin recording software so i can specify the frame rate i can specify the screen resolution and if i want to capture the audio in raw format so that i can hit it later i can also do that if i want to record my system audio in a channel and my microphone audio in a separate channel i can also do that okay so ffmpeg is very flexible and have some premium feature for free i highly recommend to try it out so this is how i can record my screen and video tutorial for any purpose so you do not need any premium software to make tutorial like this one you can just use ffmpeg which is a open source and very powerful video processing tool okay thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also please hit the like button around 96 percent of my viewers of this channel is new viewers so if you are a new viewer please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel that means a lot for me thanks once again for watching my tutorial have a good day